Glass is one of the most versatile and fascinating materials in the world. It's everywhere, in your windows, your smartphone, and even your kitchen cabinets. At first glance, glass might seem simple, but the process of creating it is anything but. From sourcing raw materials to shaping molten glass into beautiful and functional objects, the journey is an incredible mix of science and artistry. By the end of this video, you'll have a newfound appreciation for this everyday material and the craftsmanship that goes into making it. Before we begin, please take a quick moment to subscribe to support our channel. Alright, let's dive into the remarkable process of how glass is made. The story of glass begins in nature. Long before humans discovered how to create it, natural glass was already forming in the environment. Events like volcanic eruptions and lightning strikes fused sand and other minerals together under intense heat, creating materials like obsidian and fulgurite. These naturally occurring glasses were some of the first tools and ornaments used by ancient humans. Over time, humans learned to mimic this natural process. As early as 2000 BCE, Civilizations like the Egyptians and Mesopotamians began experimenting with glassmaking techniques, using high heat to transform sand and other minerals into primitive glass objects. These early artisans used molds and simple tools to create beads, vessels, and other decorative items. The techniques evolved, and by the time of the Roman Empire, glass was being blown into more intricate shapes, making it more versatile and accessible. This ancient innovation laid the foundation for the advanced glassmaking processes we use today. But while the methods have changed, the basic idea, turning raw materials into something extraordinary, remains the same. The creation of glass begins with the careful selection of raw materials. The primary ingredient is silica sand, which forms the foundation of most glass. This sand must be exceptionally pure as even the smallest impurities can impact the clarity and strength of the finished product. In fact, the quality of the silica is so critical that it's often sourced from specific regions known for their high-grade deposits. To make the sand more workable at lower temperatures, soda ash is added. This material acts as a flux, reducing the melting point of silica and making it easier to form. However, Soda ash alone would make the glass too soft, so limestone is incorporated to add durability and strength. These three ingredients, silica sand, soda ash, and limestone, form the essential trio for creating standard glass. Additional materials can be added depending on the desired properties. For instance, magnesium or aluminum may be included for added strength while metal oxides can introduce vibrant colors like green or blue. Once the materials are selected, they are carefully measured and mixed to form what's known as the glass batch. This mixture is then transported to the next stage of the process, where it will undergo an extraordinary transformation. The mixed raw materials, or glass batch, are transported to large industrial furnaces capable of reaching temperatures exceeding 2500 degrees Fahrenheit. These furnaces are specially designed to withstand the extreme heat required to melt the batch into a uniform, molten state. This stage is where the true magic begins, as the raw materials combine and transform into the fluid substance that will eventually become glass. As the batch heats up, chemical reactions take place. The silica sand begins to liquefy, while soda, ash, and limestone react to reduce melting temperatures and stabilize the mixture. Impurities and bubbles rise to the surface and are skimmed away, leaving behind a pure, viscous molten glass. The process is carefully monitored to ensure consistency. The temperature, mixing speed, and duration in the furnace all play a critical role in determining the quality of the final product. Depending on the type of glass being made, whether it's for windows, bottles, or high-tech applications like fiber optics, the composition of the batch and the melting parameters can vary significantly. Once the molten glass reaches its desired consistency, it's ready to be shaped. But the journey's far from over. What happens next will determine the unique form and purpose of the glass. 
Watch to the end to discover how molten glass is crafted into some of the most intricate and useful objects we use every day. Once the molten glass is ready, it moves to the forming stage, where it's shaped into the desired product. This stage involves a variety of techniques depending on the type of glass being created, each requiring precision and craftsmanship. One of the oldest and most well-known methods is glass blowing. Skilled artisans use a blowpipe to gather molten glass and inflate it like a balloon, shaping it into intricate objects like vases, bottles, or decorative pieces. For larger scale production, automated systems take over, producing thousands of uniform glass bottles or jars in a fraction of the time. For flat glass, such as what's used in windows or smartphone screens, the float method is commonly employed. In this process, Molten glass is poured onto a bed of molten tin, where it spreads out evenly, creating perfectly flat sheets. This method ensures consistent thickness and an exceptionally smooth surface. Glass can also be pressed or molded into specific shapes. This technique involves pouring molten glass into molds and pressing it into form with a plunger, a method often used for creating plates, bowls, and industrial glass components. For specialty products like fiber optics, molten glass is drawn into thin, precise strands that emit light and data. Throughout the forming process, speed and temperature control are critical. Glass must be shaped quickly before it begins to cool and harden, and every second counts. Whether blown, rolled, or molded, each piece of glass takes its unique form during this stage, but it's still far from finished. Next. It must be carefully cooled to ensure durability and strength. After being formed, the glass enters the critical phase of cooling and annealing. At this stage, the glass is still highly susceptible to stress and breakage due to the rapid changes in temperature it experienced during forming. Controlling cooling is essential to stabilize the glass and make it durable enough for everyday use. The glass is gradually cooled in specialized ovens called annealing layers. These ovens slowly lower the temperature of the glass over several hours or even days, depending on the size and type of product. This slow cooling process relieves internal stresses that could cause the glass to crack or shatter later on. For example, delicate glassware may require extra time in the annealing process, while thicker industrial glass can withstand faster cooling. Different glass products undergo varying levels of annealing, Safety glass used in car windshields go through an additional tempering process where it's reheated and rapidly cooled to increase its strength and create a controlled brake pattern in case of impact. The precision of the annealing process is crucial as any deviation can result in flawed or unstable glass. Once the glass has completed this stage, it emerges as a strong and reliable material ready for its finishing touches. With cooling complete, the focus shifts to refining the glass for its final form and function. Once the glass has been properly cooled and annealed, it moves on to the finishing stage. This is where it undergoes additional processes to enhance its functionality, appearance, and safety. Each type of glass product has unique finishing requirements tailored to its purpose. For glass sheets, the edges may be cut and polished to ensure they're smooth and safe to handle. Decorative or specialty glass can be sandblasted, etched, or coated with reflective or anti-glare finishes. Mirrors, for instance, receive a layer of metallic coating such as silver or aluminum on the back to create the reflective surface. For containers like bottles or jars, finishing often involves adding threading to the neck for caps and lids. These pieces are also treated to withstand pressure changes, ensuring durability for beverages or other contents. Glass used for electronics like smartphone screens is subjected to chemical strengthening or lamination to improve scratch resistance and impact durability. The inspection process is just as meticulous. Every piece of glass is carefully examined for defects such as bubbles, cracks, or uneven surfaces. Automated scanners and human inspectors work together to identify flaws. Any piece that doesn't meet quality standards is either recycled or reprocessed to minimize waste. Recycling is a major part of sustainable glass production. Scrap glass, known as cullet, 
is melted down and mixed with new raw materials to create fresh glass, reducing energy usage and raw material consumption. With finishing and inspection complete, the glass is ready for its intended use. Whether it's a window, bottle, screen, or decorative piece, this final stage ensures that every piece of glass not only looks perfect, but also performs reliably for its purpose. Glass is all around us, but its creation is a marvel of science, artistry, and precision. From its humble beginnings as a mix of raw materials, to the intense heat of the furnace, from the skilled techniques that shape it to the careful cooling and finishing processes, glass undergoes an incredible transformation before it reaches our homes and lives. The next time you look through a window, sip from a glass, or tap on your smartphone screen, take a moment to appreciate the craftsmanship behind this everyday material. The journey is far more intricate than it seems, requiring expertise and innovation at every step. If you found this process as fascinating as we do, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe to our channel for more incredible stories about how everyday items are made. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.